Especially when it's BT's fault. Hope you're still getting me and you've got all that from M1 MCW Mobile. I'm 16 feet. Yeah, I've got you there, Stu. I'm uh, just doing a little video here just so I can show Norman and uh, some of the other guys. At Simplex DMR, that it's not on the internet. Well, not this conversation. <laughs> So, yeah, no, I, I, I reckon I'll probably lose you. If you're going over Berkeley Common, probably down by uh, Bardsey, somewhere around there, Stu, because it's a dreadful place for radio. It's bad enough on VHF. So I would imagine on UHF, I, I reckon we'll probably lose each other. So it'll be uh, it'll be quite interesting, Stu, but you're still, you're still coming through fine at the minute. The audio's clear. No problems at all, mate. Ah, oh, well, I've got everything that you said there, Dave. No problem again, so... It's good going both sides, isn't it? God almighty, I'll have to pull over here. There's horses coming down and a bloody wagon. I don't know what the hell it is, but... Uh, no, I think it's a cattle wagon. Horse wagon. Anyway, I'm stationary at the moment. As I say, there's three horses coming down this. And, uh, no. So we'll uh, stay put for a minute, Dave. Over here, we hope you're still getting me. Yeah, you're loud and clear. Whereabouts you at now, Stu? I'm about to uh, get away from uh, Urswick. Um, but I'm up the... You know, you go around Urswick, don't you? Instead of going through it, I'm going around if you've been up that uh, that lane before, Dave. That's where I'm at. It's like a fork. Uh, but I'm having to wait for this wagon to come down. 63. Yeah, no problems at all, Stu. I've got your two bars on the radio. And uh, you're loud and clear, mate. As I say, it's, uh, I don't know how long we'll be able to hold the QSO for, but I do reckon it'll drop out the other side of Ulverston because it's, it's a hellish place. I know me and Paul at LK have tried it a few times. Uh, we tried it on their uh, 2-metre SSB and uh, we managed to hold the, the conversation most of the way. You know, the signal dropped out of nothing, but yeah, it's, uh, it's working well. It's sounding well. I had to get in a tight spot there and I'm just zooming up with a, a pillar because it's in a car that uh, should have followed through with this wagon and he just stopped. I flashed him down and he was still stationary and he wouldn't move. An old guy, probably younger than me anyway, but uh, there I am. <laughs> anyway, back over to you. Yeah, you must have gone on some higher ground now, Stu. You've gone up to three bars, the signal's gone up. So it doesn't make any difference to the audio on it. It's, uh, it either works or it doesn't work. Um, I think it's immaterial having a signal meter on these because it doesn't make any difference whatsoever, mate. No, you're right there, mate. But, uh, <laughs> God, <laughs> I get mad, me, mate, with some of these bits on the road. But there you are. Anyway, I'm uh, just on a bird creek now, um, just taking the hard right. And uh, I'm going to be going over the tops in a minute when this uh, guy gets past me. He's another one. How much bloody room do you want there? Ellie! Uh, just, uh, she's just going to the shop. Sorry, go on, Sue. Yeah, if you're going over Burkrig, you'll uh, you'll probably boom out up there, mate. As I say, I tried it up there with me and and it was superb. Yeah, um I'm going over, but uh, I'm uh, just at the bottom of the fork where you can go to scales or left if you go over Berkeley and just stop letting somebody come down. Do you know what? You can't even tell that you're mobile, Stu. There's no engine noise. There's no nothing behind you. On a normal analogue, you can usually hear that bit of a whir and you've got the whooshy up and down signal, the blah, blah, blah. But it's, uh, it's absolutely perfect, mate. No problems whatsoever. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, I've had good reports like before, so yeah, it's good that day. Uh, quite a few would be, believe it or not, footballing and what have you. Not a bad day, really, I suppose. Um, well, I'm right on the top now, and I'm, I'm ready to go down the other side, so you'll probably lose me going down there, no doubt. But we'll see. It's all sensitised, and... Uh, it's a good test, isn't it, really? So uh, I'll stay with you till I'm about to drop down and I'll no doubt receive you where you won't get me. Uh, I wouldn't have thought, anyway. 
So I'm just uh, I'm just going down to the other side, just looking all over Morgan Bay now, but it's lovely and all. Very nice indeed. Anyway, I'll throw it back over to you, Dave, from M1 MCW Mobile. Sixteen three. Obviously, you went full scale there at one point, Stuart. No problems whatsoever with it. It's uh, obviously a cracking signal off you. Um, as I say, I reckon when you get right down past the stone circles, right down to that very, very bottom, that'll be the ultimate test, Stuart, because the sheer amount of terrain that's between us is uh, is staggering. Um, and if I do hear you, it'll be uh, well, it'll be amazing. I put it that way, mate. But yeah. Uh, all clear up to now, mate. Well, you just dropped out there, Dave, so you're obviously not getting me now. Because I'm Go down on. now. But uh, I'll throw it back over. And, uh... Right, the uh, the X has just come on where the antenna is, Stu, so you must be right down the bottom. I did hear when you come back and says uh, you were losing me, but I did get some of you over there. Um, so I doubt that you're going to be receiving me. Yeah, I did get a bit of that, Dave. But as I say, I'm right down now, so it's, uh, it's asking a lot, isn't it? You know, but uh, I did get a bit of what you uh, were on about there. So it's not doing bad considering. But uh, anyway, I'll I'll give you a call uh, later on. I'll leave it on here and uh, give you a call. Uh, hope you got any of that. M63. Yeah, I got that shoot. Just he's breaking up a little bit, but as I say, I ain't surprised considering where you're at. <coughs> there's uh, there's masses and masses of uh, of hills in between us, so I'm uh, I'm actually amazed I'm still picking you up from there. No issue. You crack on, mate. And uh, I'll be monitoring most of the day. M60 HV. And he's gone. Nope, 73, Stu, if you're, uh, if you're there. Anybody else on frequency? M60 HV, anybody else monitoring their simplex frequency? Nope, that's it. There you go, folks. G6 ECN, Gold 6 Echo, Charlie Nadeva. G6 ECN, I think he's Bernard uh, in Bollington, if I'm not mistaken. Good afternoon. M60 HV Dave over on Walney Island. I was just on with Stuart there, M1 MCW, who was uh, mobile. He was at about 400 feet above sea level at one point, um, but he's dropped out. He's in there, a real dip. So hopefully you're receiving me, Bernard. G6 ECN, yeah, no problem, Dave. Yeah, good afternoon to you. Yeah, been listening to you for a while. Couldn't have the other station, unfortunately. It's not really surprising, but yeah, you're coming through fine. Not minus 118 BBM, you know, it's varying, but yeah, no problem. It's uh, it's there all the time. So no problems at all, uh, Dave. I just went out for a walk, actually, just got back. It's not a bad afternoon. A bit grey, but uh, not bad, at least. It's, at least it's dry. <laughs> so there's just something to say for it. Back to you from G6 ECM. M60 V return. Yeah, I'll receive there, Bernard. No problems at all. I've uh, not long since been in. I've just took the XYL to work <coughs> and uh, just been on the phone trying to sort my internet out because it's uh, unfortunately gone down. But so's the other chaps I was just talking to. Uh, I've got a bit of an issue on the island at the moment, uh, which is not good. It's uh, it's like losing an arm or a leg. Well, maybe not that bad. <laughs> uh, but you do sort of get used to the internet. So I am currently making a video as well, Bernard. Uh, I haven't pressed stop yet, so I hope you don't mind. Uh, it was just to show somebody local, um, you know, that we do do uh, simplex QSOs on uh, on DMR and not just relying on the internet uh, and how well it actually does work simplex as well. Um, as I say, where Stuart was, um, I was actually surprised that I would receive him. Um, and he, d he did drop out where I thought he was going to drop out, but even still, it was a, it was quite a good test. Anyway, um, trust the weather's all right down there for you. It's... Uh, Overcast up here, but it's not cold, and uh, and I'm due to go to work in a couple of hours. Uh, still using the uh, the DM forty six hundred here, uh, slowly but surely getting to grips with it, and uh, I've changed the microphone since we last spoke. And there, Bernard, I'm using the um, I don't even know which make it is the RM RMN five one two seven C, the one the DTMF one with all the uh, the pretty lights on it. 
Um, I've ditched the uh, the standard one and uh, gone over to this. Anyway, back to you, uh, G6ECN, I think it is, M60 HB over. The same microphone that I've got here. It's, uh, it's a nice piece of kit. Yes, well, you know, just be a bit, you know, there I'm in Macclesfield or Bollington. Uh, just about seventy, about seventy-three miles, I think it is, from here to uh, to Wally, So it's not bad on the Simplex QS. So. Okay, hold on, hold it with you. I'll let you carry on, and uh, I'll carry on at this end with what I'm doing. <laughs> Cheers for now from G6ECN. Yeah, cheers for that, Bernard. Appreciate the. Uh... The contact and you coming back to me there and uh, you enjoy the rest of the day and uh, no doubt we'll, uh, we'll bump into, into each other again somewhere along the bands. Seven threes mate from Walney Island, M6 DHV, cheerio. Cheerio, oh, 73 miles, Walney to uh, Bollington. DMR Simplex folks, works a treat, catch you in a bit. <laughs> 